It's almost impossible to not let angry thoughts bubble to the surface from time to time. Whether you just got into a fight with your partner, had a disagreement with your parents, or lost your job, there are a lot of reasons to feel angry about what life has thrown your way. If you are religious, you may even harbor some resentment towards God's plan for you, which maybe hasn't aligned with your own plan. But letting anger consume your thoughts and actions will only lead you down a sinful path with consequences. No one said letting go of anger and forgiving someone you feel has wronged you is easy. Over the past two years, there have been a lot of reasons to be upset as the pandemic coursed through the veins of society. And while letting your pent-up anger go may feel like giving in rather than taking action, the opposite is true. God teaches the virtue of choosing patience, calmness, and goodness over rage, bitterness, and bad-temperedness. It is in your control to release any negative thoughts, keep faith, and have trust that the Lord will make sure those who have wronged you are held accountable. Being angry is valid, but don't let it become your character. These Bible message about anger will help you accept, understand, and let go, and remind you of the consequences of holding grudges. Don't give in to worry or anger, it only leads to trouble. The good news, when you can act based on your negative emotions. You might make the wrong decisions, so take your time to calm down before doing anything. Keep your temper under control, it is foolish to harbor a grudge. A lot of situations can make us react angrily and that's perfectly normal. But we shouldn't hold grudges because it's pointless and exhausting. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. When someone who is angry confronts you, don't fight with them. Try and talk to them calmly as it'll help calm them down and make their anger go away. If you become angry, do not let your anger lead you into sin, and do not stay angry all day. When we're angry, we may do something we might regret later or act in a way that could hurt those around us. Wait until the anger dissipates before making a decision or taking action. People with a hot temper do foolish things, wiser people remain calm. Anger is a normal response to some situations, but it's how you respond that makes you who you are. Get rid of all bitterness, passion, and anger. No more shouting or insults, no more hateful feelings of any sort. An angry person often pushes those around them away. When confronted with a situation that makes you angry, choose to remain calm and talk things out rather than fighting with the other person. But keep away from foolish and ignorant arguments, you know that they end up in quarrels. As the Lord's servant, you must not quarrel. You must be kind toward all, a good and patient teacher, who is gentle as you correct your opponents, for it may be that God will give them the opportunity to repent and come to know the truth. When we surround ourselves with other people, we can pick up some of their mannerisms, including their negative reactions to situations. Stay away from those people who pick a fight over everything, because it goes against God's wishes. God bless you. The best is yet to come.